This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to hide objects in Rhino. Hiding objects in Rhino is fairly handy. It allows you to take a scene with a lot of parts in it, and by hiding certain parts on a layer, it cleans up the scene without actually having to move those parts to a different layer. It also allows you to hide construction lines or any parts that you want to save for later and bring them back when you need them to work in your model. The hide and unhide menu is very similar to the lock menu. And we access it in two ways. We can go to edit, visibility, and you can see the different visibility options here. Or we can come over here to this light bulb. And this top row is all our visibility options. Let me just drag this toolbar off so we can work with it. So the first option is hide objects with a left mouse click or show objects with a right mouse click. The second is show objects. The third is show selected objects. The fourth, invert selection and hide objects. And the fifth is swap hidden and visible objects. So the way we go about this is select the objects you'd like to hide and simply click the hide objects button. These objects have now disappeared they're still on the same layer, they're just no longer visible and no longer selectable. And because they're not selectable, your snaps will no longer work on them either. To bring an object back, we can either click on the Show Objects button. Let me go ahead and hide those again. Or we can right click on the Hide Objects button to bring them back. If we want to hide multiple objects, we can click Hide. Select the objects that we'd like to hide and hide them. We also have the ability to bring back selected objects. And that's this icon called Show Selected Objects. So I'll click on that and immediately anything that is visible goes away and the only things showing on our screens are items that are currently hidden. So we can go ahead and just select whatever objects we want to bring back and then press Enter. And you can see we brought back the three objects and left the one curve line hidden. I'll go ahead and right click on this to bring everything back. We also have the ability with the hide command to invert selection and hide. So I can select a couple of objects that are much easier to select than others, let's say. Click on this button, it'll invert the selection and hide the new selection. Just bring those back. I also have the option of hiding objects and then swapping out everything that is hidden for everything that is hidden and that's clicking this icon here. As you can see the hidden objects and the visible objects have swapped places. I'll click that again and now everything that was hidden is now visible. Go ahead and right click on that to unhide everything. And that concludes our look at the hide objects in Rhino.